This is to introduce the uh, 400U, the, the next line in the 400U. It was launched in uh, EMO of 2009. Uh, this machine is a HSM 400U LP. The LP is for linear drive systems. Uh, linear drives are in the X, Y, and Z, so we get quick responses out of the machine, quick reaction times from the machine, which allows us to get into finer surface finishes than we were able to do before. Uh, the machine's response time in, in turning corners and things like that are all in the high velocities, so the machine uh, is able to get down to smaller finishes and detailed finishes in smaller parts. The idea behind the machine is to cut in the uh, eight inch diameter range. Uh, some of the newer features of the machine is what we call ITM, which is a uh, system for measuring the tool. It's an optical system. It measures the tool with an, with an optical scanner in order to pick up the, the bull nose or a ball, ball end mill or even a, the sides of the end mill in order to get its offsets for the X, Y, and Z of that. What this does, because we're using an optical system, we're able to remove any kind of uh, material left on the tool from a previous cut. And this increases the accuracy versus using a, a laser system. A laser system would pick up the, uh, the debris and change the Z depth to be in where the debris is, whereas with an optical system, it's, it has the intelligence to remove this debris and actually pick up the true end mill of the uh, part, which then allows us to then have much more accuracies in cutting with multiple tools, which is the key thing when you're using different size tools at different spindle speeds, the blends between one tool and the other tool have to be very precise in order to remove any kind of polishing you'll have to do in the future. With the optical system, the ITM, we're able to do that and blend everything right to within one micron. But as soon as it gets to the tip, where it has to do a, a, that radius there, you can see how it changes its speed velocity in the AB axis and the XYZ in order to uh, maintain that chip load on the part itself. So here's slow, fast, slow, fast. This is the, uh, the high accelerations of the machine in order to maintain those chip loads on the machine itself. Some of the things you'll see is on uh, the plasma screen over on this side of things is the actual measuring that's going on on the tool itself. The uh, software is actually uh, inside the machine, so normally you don't see it, but here in the black area, it actually takes the photograph of the tool and then measures it to a CAD system in order to pick up all the XYZ points. For example, in this last measurement, I see about uh, 20 points on a ball end mill, and those points are then calculated out and then fed to the machine so it knows exactly where it is in X, Y, and Z, and Z is the critical here in order to maintain depths. This tool is doing a surface finish on the blade itself. Down at the far end, they'll use another tool in order to make the blend between the, uh, the uh, fir tree holder and the blade itself. Uh, these two areas are critical that they blend together. And right now we're, we're doing a uh, final pass and finishing up the blade uh, in getting the surface finish down to the, the surface finish that needs to be for this type of application. So as you can see here, it's removing at some points, it's only removing a couple tenths, but at other points it's removing up to about 80 thou. The key point of this is that since I'm using a direct drive system on the AB axis here, uh, as it's turning and the XYZ is cutting, I'm using all five axes simultaneously. So an HSM 400U is a full five axis simultaneous machine, but because I'm using linear drive motors, I'm able to slow it down, speed it up in certain areas during this cut in order to maintain the correct uh, feed rates and cutting chip load. This allows for less vibration in the part, also allows for uh, better surface finishes and uh, less tool wear on the, on the tool itself.